one, go. It says go. Hi, it's Wednesday, June 5th of 2024. And I am continuing on with excellence of spirit. This is part five. God has just got this so stirred up in my heart. So I'm going to share what he gave me this morning. He said, I want everyone to embrace perseverance with passion. And perseverance or passion are two attributes in of excellence of spirit. And when we persevere, what are we doing? We are persisting in any business or enterprise or assignment that we take on not to give up or abandon what we have undertaken. Boy, it's easy to give up sometimes, isn't it? Passion is the excitement or kind of an agitation in our mind. It might be a desire. It could be fear or hope, joy, grief. How about love and hatred? They're kind of opposites to each other. But it really, what is it? Is passion? It's a feeling of zeal or desire for something. So, what does the Bible say about perseverance? So, in James 1, verse 4, it says, and this is out of the New Living Translation, let me read this to you. It says, Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Let perseverance finish its work so you, that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. So when life gets tough and we are facing what we consider to be impossible situations, impossible odds are stacked up against us, we are never to, for, to give up. When we believe in something, we fight to the end regardless of the circumstances or how we may feel, we willingly face the challenge with excellence in our spirit. So let me give you an example that's been in front of us since 2015 to today, and it's going to continue on through the rest of the year and the years coming, is President Trump. This is not a discussion about whether you love him or hate him. This is about the consistency and the persistency and how he has stood to protect our nation, our constitution, our freedom. You know, 248 years ago on July 4th, the Declaration of Independence was signed. America has, is the most remarkable experiment in government, in free government, ever known in this world. This is a remarkable constitution that our forefathers built for us. And we need to protect it. It's built on biblical principles, Righteousness, peace, and joy can be had if we follow that and if we uh, operate in integrity and move forward to protect all life and freedom and opportunities that we can develop here in this country. There's a navigational beacons that we can live within to have a prosperous nation and we can welcome people into our nation through a, a righteous process. So I am all about that. But I want to tell you, we are seeing a witness of someone who has, with passion for his love for this nation, is persevering regardless of all odds that have come against him. And I think we can agree on that. Whether we like him or not, doesn't matter. We can agree that there has been perseverance and passion for what he stands for. So that's just an example that we can see in our life that we're witnessing. But we have an opportunity to persevere for the word of God and stand passionately regardless of what is going on against us. I ran for office in the state of Alaska. I was persecuted terribly, but I stood for what I believed in. I didn't win the seat, but that's okay. I ran the course of the race that God put before me. There was an assignment in our, my life. There was a purpose for that. That season is now past. But I can take that experience and sow it into other people to encourage them. Never give up. And Winston Churchill said, it is the courage to continue that counts. And Abraham Lincoln said at the end of the Civil War, he said, I am a slow walker, but I never walk back. So we don't want, we might be moving forward slowly, but we never want to retreat. We are called to always hold the ground. And we are given the word of God that never changes, that we stand on.
that is our sword and that's where we stand. So go hold your ground, embrace your assignment with perseverance and great passion. You will be well rewarded for it. Thank you for joining me. It's great to see you. Talk to you tomorrow.